if it works. Hello everybody, this is Els, Elizabeth Craft Designs. I hope this all works well now. I'm going to check if my camera is okay. Let me see, I'm just, I will start in a few minutes. We're just testing because, oh, I still have like about two minutes. So I just want to see if the camera is okay, if the screen is okay. Let me see. Yes, it's good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very happy. There's two people here already. Hi. Um, so uh, please leave some comments as well. Then I can check if I can see that. So uh, who's coming in? Let me see if I can find the, the comments here. I don't see that yet. Anna, how can we see the comments? Click to expand. We can do that. Let me see. Okay, and now I think the comments are coming on the side. I think we're good. How are we all doing today? Is everybody doing okay? You know, being in their house. I see Marguerite joined. I see that. I don't see the comments yet, but I'm pretty sure that's coming. I need to scroll up probably. Oh, yeah. There I see Pam. Hi, Pam. Uh, she says, I want all those glitters. Yes, you do. The glitters are fantastic. Um, so what I have here, but I will wait for, so I'll just chit chat for uh, one more minute and then uh, people know that I'm here. So uh, I hope you're all doing uh, okay. You know, just stay home. Um, you know, we all stay home. So um, I'm at the office here. I told you first time because I am here uh, with Anna. We keep our social distance for sure. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Hello, Anna's here uh, and helping me out. And, um, you know, other than that, I'm at home in my studio. And, uh, I, you know, it's, for me, it's kind of a downtime uh, to, that I can actually play in my studio. So I'm, you know, I have enough to do, let's say that. I'm not, um, I'm not bored one second. Okay, so let's get started. So I see uh, Denise joined. Dana, hi Dana, Magritte, uh, Laura. Uh, Laura Tree Keenbaum. Actually, Laura, I see you coming in. Let me tell you right away that you are one of the winners of the $15 gift certificates. So, Laura, congratulations. And the other one is uh, Janine Hardiman. So, if Janine is here as well, uh, Janine, congratulations. And Laura, congratulations. So, you won the uh, $15 gift certificates uh, for the last uh, Facebook Live. And again, we are, if you leave a comment, so like, share, comment. Uh, you make a chance again for the two $15 gift certificates that we will uh, tell the winners on Friday. Els Brons, hi Els. I see a lot of people from the Netherlands as well. Saskia, hi Saskia and Denise, uh, Magritte. So I see a lot of people from the Netherlands as well. Welcome everybody. I'm so happy you're here. Uh, so let me tell you the first thing. So this, I'm going to move this away in a second. So this is the glitter tray. You've seen my glitter tray in a lot of uh, videos that I use here, which is the small one, which I'm going to use in a second as well. But um, the one I have at home is this one. So this is a big wooden tray. I have all my glitter colors here. Then I have Swiffers here. Uh, so And my coffee filter and my brush. So... Um, all the colors are in here. So I'm going to move that away in a second. Now I'm going to slide to the side on it because then I can... Um, and this, I wrote it down. I actually measured. So my tray here is 14 by 20, 20 inch. So 14 by 20 inch. And uh, it's wood. And you want to have wood. You don't want to have a metal tray because metal is static and plastic is static. So that's why you want to have a wooden tray and not a plastic or metal one. So let me um, get this out of the way. And then here I have my regular uh, workspace that I use for my Facebook Lives. And then I have my little glitter tray here as well. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do different techniques with the glitter. And if you've never seen it, I know a lot of people think, oh, glitter, that's not my thing. If you work with our glitter, it will become your thing because it is super, super fun to work with. Lots of possibilities. And we already posted one picture online. We show I'm going to work with the... Uh, dyes from uh, Charlene and Ilse and the uh, words from uh, Suzanne Cannon. So I have the dyes here that I made the mask with. So um, you see, so I use those. So I'm going to work with the bubbles and I'm going to uh, use this one for this life. So that's the collection from uh, Charlene and Ilse. 
And let me show you right away what I have here as well. And this is only like one part because the other part is that the, I have the complete card at the expo. It's in my, um, it's in my uh, pot there. We have a downloadable color chart for the glitter as well. And when you download it, you have the colors on there. But of course, you can add your little squares with the real glitter. If you do double-sided tape on cardstock, and then you can do the real glitter on there as well. So that's downloadable. And Marley, who is at, uh, who's working from home, she will put the link into that color chart so you can download that. So uh, these are the cards I already created and I'm going to show you this technique in a second. So this one is done with, uh, so you have the faith because we all need faith um, at this time. And then you have these ones, uh, the seed pots here. Um, those are glitter and I use some um, foil as well, which I'm going to show you. I watercolored a little bit here. Uh, and then this one is... Um, also with, so you see, I use the bubbles as a stencil and it's a combination of glitter and um, foil. So I'm going to show you that. And then I have the little branch here. Uh, yeah, so that one is the, so the one I just showed you. So this one is from the uh, budding flowers, uh, florals. And then this one is from the blooming branches, this one. And then we have the bubbles there. Um, and the stamps, oh yeah, the stamps is that, uh, words and layers is this one. So this says, uh, we are stronger together. And, you know, I think that's totally true because I think, uh, a lot of people, you know, we have the best coming out of us because we want to help each other. We want to support each other. We're in contact with each other. Um, uh, and I know there's people at home that, you know, if you're by yourself, that must be more difficult than when you have a partner at home as well. So, uh, that's why we do this because we want to connect with uh, a lot of people and make your day a little bit better. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to f uh, show the technique that's actually I've been doing a lot, but if you've never seen it, you'll see how spectacular that uh, that is. So I have here white cardstock with a double-sided adhesive on top. Then I'm going to take this off. And now that's all sticky. And the double-sided adhesive is on sale as well. So we have a 25% discount on the glitter. We still have free shipping. And then the tape is also 25% discount. So in this case, and I know I know Brunhilde checked in uh, several times. I don't know if she's here. Brunhilde, are you watching? Let me see. Yeah, I can't see that. But if Brunhilde is watching, uh, when I was in Austria, it wasn't, I don't know if it was in Austria or Germany, but uh, Brunhilde found me like a whole spool of this lace. And it's, you know, these are kind of my last pieces that I'm using here. I use that so many times because that lace is just absolutely gorgeous but you can find lace online or at your local store so you can just check it out and since i have a card with a black background and you saw me um kind of rubbing that uh lace with the release sheet because you never want to touch the uh the like the tape so I'm going to use my two, two, one of my two favorites here. So this is the, the black and the antique silver. Because when you want to do the lace, because it's, uh, it's very fine, like the pattern is very fine. And um, let me see, I'm just going to see if I can scroll up. If I, oh, I don't know how to do that. But um, yeah, so uh, if Brunhilde is here, Brunhilde, this is my last piece. If you ever find a treasure like this again get it for me and this of course this is a big piece so i have like a larger coffee field here you can also do a piece of uh, paper of course so i'm just going to brush this off and then you will see how nice that pattern is um anna can you see how i get the comment because i cannot well i see the comments but it's not scrolling up i don't know how to do i might need to swipe that myself i don't know how to oh it oh, oh there i was oh you know what i was trying to do i was trying to do it on the screen <laughs> Like on my, I, I thought it was on my phone, trying to do it on the, on the screen. That's why that didn't work. I know. So I'm going to put it back using my coffee filter. And then next to me here, I have a cardboard box because you wanna uh, use a cardboard box as a trash can. Because um, again, if you use metal or plastic, it's all going, um, I'll put this, it's all going to go, um, like it's attaching, it's static. So when you use, and I just clean my fingers. So now I'm kind of rubbing this. So you rub that glitter into the tape. Polishing, burnishing, however you want to call it. And because I do this, the next color will not stick where this pattern is. So again, so now I'm going to peel it off here. And then I'm going to take my release sheet and pull this off. Now let me do it on the side because then the glitter will not fall off here. You see, so now I have my pattern here, and then I'm going to take my second color, 
which will be in this case will be my antique silver and it antique silver will go everywhere where it's still white you see and because i polished that black already that antique silver is not going to stick to that black anymore so i can brush this off you see what a beautiful beautiful lace this is so let me see okay i see angel i see monique hi monique i see sally tracy hi tracy so i'm going to put this back and the discount by the way is on the eu website as well so it is on the elizabethcraftdesigns.com website and the discount is also on the um on the eu website and it will apply uh, automatically so the 25 percent discount on the on the um tape and the glitter is automatically applied so you don't need to do anything for that okay let me put this out of the way and then i'm going to polish this and i don't know if you can see but it gets really really sparkly when you polish this and this is a very simple way to make a beautiful card So it's just, you make a circular motion with your fingers. You just polish this. So you have that. And now I'm going to put the card together. Let me put my... And then you have like in a very quick way, you have a beautiful glitter card. So this is one of the basic techniques that I did, you know, a, a lot of times already. Let me see. So Angel, and now I can... Oh yeah, okay. Jane is uh, watching as well, and Robin, Naomi, uh, Susan, Anna joined. Hi, Anna. Um, so, you know, so I see Laura. So, Laura, you know you are the, um, the winner, and uh, the other winner is Janine Hardiman. So, um, I think Angel will contact you, or you can send an email to the info at the craft designs, but um, you will get your $15 gift certificate. And I, um, Will Bakker, can you reuse the lace for a next card? Yeah, absolutely. You can use that a lot of times. At, at some point it will wear out, but you can, I would say at least, depending on the lace as well, you don't want to have like a really cotton lace. It needs to be like a little, I always say a little bit more plastic or synth synthetic probably, because otherwise the cotton one has like uh, all the threads. So you pull that. So you don't want to have that. And yeah, you can use it at least, I would say at least 20 times. But um, when I do my de demos at the expo, I actually use it all day. So I do, I do much more than 20 times. So I'm using our six millimeter tape here and we, we have the tape in different width, of course, and all that tape. So if you use the sheets or the rolls, they're all 25% uh, off today. And the glitter, of course. So we have the sets of glitter. So there's a lot, a lot of colors. And if you, um, if you use the, uh, of if you want to use the glitter, uh, make sure you um, download that color chart because it's really helpful. Because in the jar it looks different than when you polish it. You see, so now I have a card here. Let me see, did I die? Could a word already for that one? I don't think I did, so I'm going to leave that for now because I have two other cards that I want to show you. But you can see if I put a, um, I'm just going to use a. You can use a swift for this is a wet wipe because of course we wet wipe everything all the time now so make that clean so if i would put that word faith on here you would see you have a beautiful beautiful card just by itself so this is just a basic technique so i'm going to send that away uh, put that on the side and uh, get to the next one i see uh, carol macy is here adriana dupree dupree is here um so lots of people tune in. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to make this card now. And I'm going to show you different techniques in that one. So what I have here, I have the Miss You. So that will be on there. But I'm first going to glitter these. And I'm going to put this away. And I have some foil as well. So I'll show you that because our tape works really well with the foil. So what I'm going to do here. And I did the same with uh, this card. With the face. If you, if you look at the... Let me, Pull it up a bit if you look at the uh, seat pots there they actually have two colors in there so i'm going to show you that how you can do the two colors Yoop, you oh youp i didn't read your comment yet but i just doing that he says close up please here you go you see that's why we're married for more than 40 years that's why we're married for more than 40 years we think alike so um i'm going to pick the two colors i used here and i think i use i'm pretty sure the uh, diva here the 663 
and then I use the um, the vintage pink and what we will do as well because Anna will take pictures of the projects and after the um, Facebook live and then we can um, we will post like all the pictures for the cards that I'm creating here so um, so you yes yeah, so I saw I saw your comment yeah Kobe is here Kobe are you moving already I know Kobe is uh, is almost moving and Claudia is here Carol and Charlene hi Charlene how do you like working with the glitter Charlene I know you didn't try it yet, but you should. And Will says, oh, beautiful effects. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, so here is what I did. So I have white cardstock with the double-sided adhesive on top. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lift this part. And I'm just going to dip it in that glitter. And I will do all three that I have prepared. Oh no, only two, because with the other one, I'm, go no, I'm going to do something else. Well, I tip, I so what, what I just take my glitter. So I took the release sheet down a little bit, you see, and then you, I will bring this up and you just dip it in here like this. And that's, so now you have a different color at your top and you can polish it a little bit, but you don't need to, because if I rub in a little bit of that pink in there, that's totally fine. So I'm going to do the same with the other two as well. But then on one of them, I'm actually going to use the foil. So just dip this one as well. Should tap it off. And then the third one. Pull this back here. So is everybody crafting at home? Are we all have our craft supplies that we all clean our craft room, of course. I think we're all kind of and finding treasures that we didn't know I had. That's for sure happening with me. Um so you probably have the same because as much as we clean up our craft room, it's never uh it's never perfectly clean. So, you know, it's a time, it's a nice time to do that. Uh, Denise, hi Denise. And um, Charlene again, Esther. Oh, Kobe likes the glitter too. That's probably not true, but Kobe, when I'm back in the Netherlands and I meet you, I will get you to work with the glitter because you will love it. You will love it. And now I'm taking this off. So this one I will actually do uh, with the foil first. So this one, I want to have a little bit of color there. And you just, oh, this foil is stuck to the tape. Hmm. Oh, there we got it. And I know there's quality difference in, in, uh, in foil, but I want a little bit of that color here as well. Well, it doesn't work perfectly, but that's good. I have some gold here as well that I will use later. So I have some foil on here, and then I'm going to take my vintage pink. And I'm just, and I don't want to touch that, so I'm going to take a piece of the release sheet here. And I'm going to sprinkle that over, and it will, so it will not stick to the foil. So you'll see you get like the two colors here. And I do the same with here. Brush it off, so you kind of get the foil here, which is basically the uh, color of the top as well, kind of match that. So I want to have one that's a little bit different than the other ones. And then the other two I'm just going to do in the vintage pink. And if you see my technique, and I will do another one with the glitter uh, next week, because we have the special the whole week, so it's uh, running till next Wednesday. So uh, on Friday we will work with the planners. I will do another live on Friday. And um, then I think on Monday or something else, I think on Wednesday I will do another glitter one, which then will be the last day of the special as well. So... Uh, and I have a lot, let me tell you as well, I have, of course, Technique Friday. There's a lot of glitter techniques on, tec uh, on the Technique Friday as well. So if you go to YouTube, you will, uh, I will show you uh, in, on a different card, like how to use those stencils. Because those stencils, you can use as well. So there's lots and lots of techniques with the glitter. And I will make a special package for Kobe. I know she's moving. You need some sparkle in your new house, Kobe. I think that will be wonderful. Okay, so now I have here my uh, seed pots done. And I'm going to put this back into the jar. And I use a coffee filter because the coffee filter is not static. So the glitter doesn't stay behind. And I'm going to put it back. Claudia says, uh, enjoying these lives. Thank you, Claudia. I actually enjoy uh, doing it. It was... Um, my idea was when, um, oh, I don't see Kobe's comment, but I see Esther smiling. So there must be something going on there. I will read it later. But um, 
I was, uh, my plan was, because if you follow me, you know I travel a lot normally. Uh, my plan was to do Facebook Lives in the RV. Like, I thought that would be cool. But then I have to say, internet in the US is not everywhere as good as we hoped it would be. So I thought that it was a very cool idea, like crafting from the RV. But, um, you know, a lot of places don't have a good internet. So I'm, go I'm going to try to figure that out. And if that all works and we get back on the road at one point and we all know, oh, we all have no idea, of course, when it's going to happen. Um, when that will happen, I will try to figure out how I can do Facebook on the road because I actually really enjoy it. And of course, we will also do our um, Technique Fridays because I can tape those um, up front. And Anna, who's here, actually uh, makes it all look really nice because I... Um, Sometimes forget things. And since I'm not at my own studio, forgetting things means you don't have it. Um, although I know for sure that I have enough stuff at home that I could... Um, I could make another set here uh, in the studio. So I might start doing that since I'm here more and I have time to do that. And it will release a little bit of my space uh, at home. So... That might be something. So this is one of the rounded rectangles, which I love to use. And of course I put double set. Hi, uh, Karen is there. This is a fun break for me. So yeah, Karen, yeah. Well, Karen works at a school, so, or a university. Um, so she's definitely at home as well. Well, as, as, as you know, most of us are at home now. And I hope everybody is doing okay and that your family is okay. And um, of course not being able to, uh, Visit your family is very hard. Um, yeah, you know, we need to get through it and we will, we will. And just a little bit crafting together that uh, that might help you just through, a, you know, just a little break in the day with a cup of tea, a cup of coffee or wherever you are, depending on where you are. It could be dinner as well on the couch. So uh, that's the base of the card. And then I have these that I'm going to put on there, but I'm first going to put the word on there. So let me bring this a little bit up. Look at that. They are absolutely, you see, with the glitter, they are really nice. So um, I have the miss you here. So uh, one decision, am I going to put this here or this here? What do we think? Let me put this because it's a little bit, yeah, I think I'm going to do the pink on the top. Yeah, so just layer. So this, of course, because um, we have, so this, all the words here, double-sided adhesive on the back, and I'm going to layer them. I'm going to put the pink on the black there and again you get the 25 percent discount on the glitter and the tape and as you can see when i take this off now this will be a stencil as well so i can use that so i save all the release sheets because you you can use that again for another project so i'm just going to offset this a little bit let me see if i can line it up nicely because i don't want to lean in that you see my head you know and the hair oh my goodness ladies the hair thing I cannot like, because not going to a hairdresser, if you have long hair, you are lucky now. But I cannot, you know, I need to be in quarantine just to, for my hair in a few weeks because it's, <laughs> it's true, Anna, you know that. <laughs> so like a lot, like I, I think it's now about uh, probably, well, it must have been 10 years ago. I'm, you know, in my 50s now, but I, I try to let it grow one more time. And then I told my sisters if I ever, if I ever say that I want to try to grow my hair again, tell me else you cannot do that. <laughs> and I'm almost forced to do it. So it will be a, yeah, yeah. I think, that, you know, I, can I give you a tip? I think by now you need to start hoarding hairspray because everybody will need hairspray in a few weeks to kind of hold their hair in place a little bit. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to stock up on hairspray. So, um, so here I have the mission. So with a little shadow there, and I'm going to pull this towards me a little bit because I want to see that I put it straight. See, so now I have that. And then I'm going to add the poppy. So this is the one with the foil. I'm going to put that in the middle. And then I'm going to put two here. Or maybe I just do one, two, three here. And then one on this side. Well, I'm just start gluing and then we'll see. So this one, of course, uh, because it's double-sided adhesive, but you know now that I use the double-sided adhesive to apply the glitter. But then um, with the poppies as well, I don't want those, the, the poppies, I don't want those uh, like glued down completely. 
because you know I like it when it's a little bit so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here and just stick it down and this is the kids choice glue we have that online available and if you put a little bit too much like I did here it will dry clear dries clear and then of course I want to have that that one I think I'm going to do three on that side but so just touch it a little bit and then I'm going to trim it off in a second and then maybe add a little bit of the uh, glue and if you if you say oh I don't like glitter you should try it because this is really not your regular glitter this is a micro fine glitter so it's really really fine and it works so nicely I'm going to do this one really low so that's it and then we're going to trim them off and then I will add a little bit of glue uh, at the bottom here and then you have a beautiful card you know what I'll do I think that's fun uh, we will take a picture of this card but uh, I will send this card out as well because we miss all of you at the shows at the expos so uh, I will uh, send this card out so we'll pick a winner for that as well and we put it in the mail to you and um, you will receive this one so if you like the card leave a comment and of course share you make a chance of the $15 gift certificate but I will also pick a winner to send this card to here you go so that's the card let me put it a little bit closer here you go you see so that's the miss you card i hope you like it and um it is simple and beautiful that uh, thank you tracy that's exactly what i try to do with this one and then i have one more that i want to show you for today thank you i see a lot of hearts thank you so much i appreciate that of course and uh, sharon is watching from uh, texas and let me see and then uh, Suzanne, Suzanne, hi Suzanne, she's actually my name, uh, oh Suzanne Cannon and Suzanne Prince, so Suzanne, Suzanne is um, one of my neighbors from the mountain, and uh, Suzanne makes uh, beautiful, beautiful jewelry, uh, her uh, website is Zexo, Z-A-X-Z-O, and she makes beautiful, beautiful jewelry, you should check that out. Hi Suzanne, and Suzanne of course, Suzanne uh, uh, Cannon, she is our designer, so the words, the faith and the miss you are from uh, Suzanne and she has the quiet fire designs so um, let me put this on here first so I want to show mo one more technique which is a fun one because I really like this because I'm going to do a combination of foil and glitter and Sue Smith is watching well Sue, Sue, Sue sends me a message so Sue has a um, she is going to well she was going to show her own collection on Hochanda that will be in April, but we need to see, of course, how the situation will be. And I think um, um, Sue will just make beautiful, beautiful samples and send them in. And we, one of the presenters will do the show, which I think she, you know, she will miss that a lot. But Sue knows as well, uh, safety, uh, you know, safety is most important now that we all stay and get healthy. Let me see. Suzanne says it's beautiful else. Yeah, I'm looking forward to another crafting uh, crafting day with all the neighbors because on our mountain, I have to say, on Conifer Mountain, we have a fantastic community of ladies there. And, uh, you know, it's just a pleasure. Oh, do I do it? Yeah, I do that correct. It's just, a, you know, we're lucky to live there and have such good neighbors and friends. Okay, that's that. So that's the background. And then I have here again. So here I have... Um, the white, so, uh, the white cardstock, not soft finish, it's just white cardstock. This is our soft finish. So the card itself is our soft finish. But like this piece is our white cardstock with the tape on top. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this off. And what you can do, and which I already did, so you save all your release sheets. So those release sheets are all stencils. And... Um, Oh, so Suzanne Cannon says, you converted me to a glitter gal. I know. And you have beautiful embossing powders as well. So uh, glitter and embossing powder actually works beautiful together. I will probably do that on my uh, live next Wednesday. So I have this piece. So I'm just going to put it on here. And again, I don't touch it with my hands. And I'm going to use my release sheet to press this down. Uh, Pamela Palm, how long is your sale on? It will be till next Wednesday, Pamela. So next Wednesday, I will do definitely, I, I might do something glittery on Monday. 
but next Wednesday, that's the last day, and I will do something with the glitter for sure as well. So I will show you two more uh, two more lies with the glitter in combination with the planners, because that's cool. So uh, lots and lots of ideas with that. And if you... Um, and if you want to see more with the glitter, my Technique Friday, I have a lot, a lot of, um, a lot, oh, I wait, foil first. I have a lot of ideas uh, on the Technique Friday as well. Sorry, I need to put that away because I want to do the foil first. I have some really nice green foil here. Oh, I need to kind of cut a piece off. And that foil, of course, comes in all kind of colors and qualities as well, I have to say. Now, this one is a really good one, but it's a... Uh, there's all kind of different ones out there as well. Must be easy to find. So, here I have, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my foil on here. Rub it lightly, I don't, because I don't want it everywhere. And then I'm going to take my release sheet and lift this up. I hope this, oh, I should not put it down. Oh, there we go, yeah. Because you always want to have a point that you can start pulling again. So I'll do a little bit more. I want to have a little bit here, but I don't want it everywhere. And that's what you see because, because I have that stencil on there, the foil will not go all the way to the edge. And that's going to be cool because then I'm going to add glitter and that will make that really nice edge. And I'm also going to rub it into that foil a little bit. So now I'm going to get my glitter tray. Let me see, so I'll do this. And then we're going to take a kind of a matching color. So it can be off a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to take a matching color. Suzanne says, I love it. Carol Macy is here. And I see, I will get back to all the, oh, there's more neighbors there maybe. I don't know that, but uh, let me see. I see it's a lovely card. Should make a lot more of them because we, we all miss friends around us. Yeah, that's true. So the miss you, that's a good one for your friends. And of course you can make birthday cards as well because uh, there were people having birthdays uh, during this time and you know you're not able to go and visit so birthday cards of course and I actually read on the Dutch uh, in the Dutch newspaper I read um, that a lot of more a lot more cards are being sent again because you want to you know you want to stay in touch so um, just make a little bit in there and I'm not going to wipe this off with my brush because I'm going to rub that glitter into the foil as well because I like that because I'm not the, like the, I don't want like a shiny green foil. So I'm not going to, you see, I'm normally, let me show you. So normally what I would do, I would brush this off. But I'm leaving it now because I'm going to brush that glitter into the foil. And that for me is a really cool effect. And I have several uh, YouTubes on the channel, on the Technique Friday channel already showing this technique. So it's just, you know, I'm, I always say you never get bored with uh, working with the glitter. Because I can do, there's different patterns, like different seasons, like with fall, you use fall colors. Uh, with Christmas, of course, I have all those like ornaments that I play with. So there's so much that I can play with. So I don't know if you can see it, but I will get it closer because then you will see that that foil doesn't look like your regular foil anymore. It looks scratchy, which I like. So, and now you will see because, so now I'm going to brush it off because then I'm going to remove that stencil. And that stencil I'm going to try to keep in one piece as well because I want to use that again. So you see that foil, I will bring it up. That is not uh, like shiny, shiny anymore. It is, you see all the scratches on there. You see some glitter in there. And you will clearly see that that glitter picked up around those circles. So now I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to try to keep, and with this one, because it's the, I kind of need to move it like in the direction of the, you know, I'm going to pick it up here because if I want to keep it in one piece and then I can make, I can make a hundred cards like this if I want to. So I'm going to remove this. You see, so now this is in one piece. I wipe it off in a second and then I can use it again. So now I'm going to take, in this case, I'm going to take the diamond glitter and we have warm and cool. I will take the warm in this case. So let me see if somebody else is asking questions. And again, I will get back to the questions. And I know, uh, I see Julia here. Oh, Brunhilde. Brunhilde, did you see the lace? Did you see the lace card? I know. I don't know if Brunhilde was here right away, like in the beginning. But uh, I use your lace, Brunhilde. Like the pink one from way back when. I've been very careful with this. So the diamond, with the diamond. I tap it off here. But then I'm going to put this away. 
because I don't brush off the diamonds over the coffee filter because I don't want any specks of glitter, of the green glitter in my in my uh, diamond. So I want to keep that clean. So with the diamond and the black as well, you always need to be careful. And with the other ones, because it's so fine, you won't see it. So now I brush this off. So now I have my diamond glitter in here. And then I will put my card together. So this will be a spring card. And again, uh, at the end of the uh, of the life, we will uh, Anna will take pictures and we will show the We will put the pictures online so you can see the cards. And if you have any more questions, of course, you can comment on that as well. So um, Susanna out is here, I see, and Cindy. Let me see, Tracy. Yeah, I know, and I know Marley is answering as well. If you have some questions, Ellen Mollevanger. So Ellen is uh, Dutch as well, but she lives in the U.S. And I see Martina. Hi, Martina. Martina is on our design team. Martina Rijnbeek, she also does Facebook Lives. So um, you can see that. So um, Martina, when, when she's on, we will share it on our um, on our Facebook groups. And um, we have a great, great design team, I have to say. And if you want to post your own work... So we have the Elizabeth Crafts Designs main page, of course. Then we have the Elizabeth Crafts Designs family page. You can post all your work there. But you can also, for the planners and the uh, journaling line we just released. So uh, Esther is the planners and Charlene and Ilse are the journaling line. Uh, we have the ECD planners and journaling Facebook group. And that one, so if you go there, there is so, I cannot share that enough. There's so much inspiration on there. Now, doesn't this scream spring and then with this one i'm actually uh let me see am i going to do the green or the black yeah no it needs to be the green so i'm going to offset so this is the spring so what i did with this one because it doesn't come out all the way so it has tape on the back but then i just take this out here i can put it on my craft mat and then i take the green one as well let me see i need to oh we share the group and karina his birthday is 17th of April. Yeah, 14 years with no party. And my dad, for the 4th of April and 71 years. I know uh, Charlene, her son, um, has his birthday, I think the 1st of April. So that will be no friends. But uh, I know she will make it a great day. Um, for me, it's Annika's birthday, like our granddaughter. Uh, she's the first, We were going to travel to Canada the 17th of May. Uh, you know, that will most likely still be the... And I know she will be disappointed, but I also know we will make the best of it. And um, like you said, now she, she is at home with the kids, of course. And what she does, she has a craft today. So she does like she did rock painting. She did uh, uh, the bread, like uh, we make, all made those bread figures when, I, when we were younger. So she did that yesterday. Oh, actually, uh, Tony is crafting with the kids. And Josette is working on new designs, which are actually going to be fabulous. We have a lot of new things coming. So we will not. Uh, we will share that uh, as soon as we have the plans. First release will be from uh, Sue. So Sue Smith, um, the calligraphy, the words which are beautiful. Okay, so here I have the spring. Oh, it's green, green. You know, I might. Um, I might actually put something behind that. So I'm not going to put it on. I think I'm going to make a small banner at home. And put it on there because it doesn't jump enough. Or should I put it here? I put it here for now because I know I can take it off again if I need to. So I'm not going to. Oh, actually, it, it's nice. I kind of like it there. Okay, that's this one. Oh, yeah, that came out nice. Here you go. So let me bring this up. So you see, I did a little bit of shadow. So I cut it twice with the black and the green. And so that's the card I created. And then this one, the Miss You. I don't know where my lace card went. I must have put it somewhere, but I can... Oh, yeah, here it is. So this one I will finish as well. So I will finish and then show that on my Facebook page. And then I have the uh, Faith one here I already created. So again, we'll put all the pictures. And then this one with uh, We Are Stronger Together, which I think is appropriate for um, what we are going through uh, right now. So um, I think that's it for today. So thank you for watching and I will be back on Monday. So again, a 25% discount on the glitter and the tape runs till next Wednesday and uh, it will be automatically applied at checkout. Um, and it cannot be combined with other discounts, but we do still have free shipping. So uh, winners again, Laura and Janine. 
En um, zo de 25% off is onder Silk Micro Fine Glitter en de Clear Double Sided Adhesive. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you all again on Monday, same time. Thank you. Bye bye.